watching get out of the sharpshooter. Survivor Series, your history! And hello to the OSW Man Do KFC Call Honey Mustard Barbecue Got Be Gotta Beat Up an Osprey Show! It's your boy, G Honey! Me, 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 yeah! At the top, and this must be Mr. OC, because he's kind of dead and at the back. <laughs> Which leaves this as V1, Sergeant Slaughter, because he slaughters on people! <laughs> anyway, just want to say thank you so much to Jack. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Rob's son for giving this to me. Okay, there's two out of three. Come on. Uh, Hulk Hogan, yeah, at the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's start the show. And welcome. It is the OSW Mountain Dew KFC Gold Honey Mustard Barbecue. Gotta be, gotta be Domino's Show. Take two, because we tried this last week. My battery's leaked. Totaled my Zoom H6, so we're using my Office One this time. Ha! Ah, posted about it on Facebook and Twitter. And here's my favorite replies. Range from helpful, like Darren Dupree, Jorge and Zula. Uh, sorry, mate. Adam Farnsworth. And sorry about your name, <laughs> mate. And Daniel the Real Cooch. I'm powering through. Two unhelpful, but quite funny, which ended up being helpful, like uh, Benjamin Stevens who says there's your problem got tires instead of batteries it's yeah good, good. Yeah. yeah the good year batteries are john montemuro says i'm giving jay's knacker batteries a premature cunt of the year nomination <laughs> at will riker's beard awesome name the state of your batteries <laughs> ask that guy gecko saying good year come on now jay loosen up those purse strings bro <laughs> 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 he knows I got those from deals. At more the merrier says, Motherfucker is clowning on your batteries. <laughs> Put good year in your boy stable ASAP. And at Final Beyond, who quotes Naked Gun? Good year? No, the worst. <laughs> nice. A can of coke to everyone who messaged me. The rest of you can go for it. <laughs> 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 it's your boy, Jay Hunter, would be one. What's the story? And OSE. We do. So what have we got on the OSW Mountain Dew KFC Gold Honey Mustard Gotta Be Gotta Be Domino's pre-show? Oh, me meow. We have got Sunday Night Slam, a Brucey bonus super secret, uh, the Raw Before Survivor Series, and the countdown to the pay-per-view itself. Slam, USA Network only gave them one error this time because they were shit. Vince, oh, thank God. Vince says, oh, you haven't seen shit. 45 minutes, let's do it. November 20th, 1994, recorded 12 days earlier along with superstars from the Fernwood Resort in Bushkill, Pennsylvania, with around 1,500 fans. Commentators tonight are Stan Lane and Gorilla Monsoon. Straight into the first matchup. It's... No, it's not. It's... <laughs> versus pew pew <laughs> <laughs> the heavenly bodies versus the smoking guns all right here they go look at this oh, the, 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 is on already. the bodies wcw the guns as soon as they enter the ring but the gunslingers send them packing bam in your face billy's mullet wow it's uh, very impressive and then look at births and <laughs> look at starter mullet mike kyoto <laughs> crisscross yes love it ends in a big bulldog by billy looking around the ring here just bang bang Bart he's built looks great Billy too he's always been in great shape then look at the heavenly bodies that name must be a rib it has to be nothing else makes sense like never mind like hair in the shower drain uh, Tom Pritchard holy shit Jimmy Del Rey he looks bad but it's kind of like the whole gimmick where like ugly dogs need the most love ugly wrestlers they just make it work I love Jimmy Del Rey. For me, he's usually a highlight of every show that we watch. So, uh, I think wrestling in 2020 could do with more ugly, <laughs> hairy men. <laughs> That's his legacy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's That's his legacy. <laughs> he's ugly and hairy. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's gotten hairier. He's more unkempt. He's pasty around the legs and the tummy, whacked on a good bit of weight. He's like, what a heel. Yeah. Also positive, he is steroid free. Guaranteed. Oh, yeah. But, like, he'd still fail a wellness test. Oh, <laughs> smellness the Jeez. shit out of him. But yeah. um, for all his faults, Pritchard annoys me more with the hair thing. That I, that drives me insane. The like, frizz. When he keeps playing with it and, and shaking it. Can you imagine what's coming out of that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, no, it's not pleasant. Like, no. Plus, it's like an 80% frizz. Yeah. 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 Tag was made, Gorilla. Look at this move here. This could be the round. 
Yeehaw! Big roundup, a spinning side slam and big leg drop combo. Hot dogging was a mistake, only gets a two. Gigolo hits a rocks lane the smackdown and Bart sells like death. He just... And that's it. <laughs> More continuity in this if they want to survive. Delray punch and yeah, sexy body weight. Yeah. Then straddles Bart by dropping to his knees for a pin, but is reversed pretty quick. Love it. Bart whips to the ropes and. Hello, 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 hello. Matt, he looks like a frog. <laughs> a fat frog. <laughs> Uh, hot dog. Hot frogs are awesome, by the way. There you go. Uh, hot dog to Billy. Cleans house. Guns give a big dual breast slam. Del Rey super kicks gun out of nowhere, but gets a two. Billy comes out of the corner with a crucifix pin and clambers down and gets the one, two, three. Into a crucifix pin. He comes out one, two. Oh, he got it. He got it. He got it. He got it. Yes, he did. 14 minutes and the guns win. Remember this crucifix pin spot for the guns at the Survivor Series. Oh, God, yeah, they botched it really badly. Yeah, they both try it, and there's, like, failure and just merely poor. <laughs> yeah. Not a great match. Kind of, like, 11 minutes of really slow selling. And then the last 40 seconds were good, and, like, then it ends. My highlight of the match is when they come back from an ad break, and we have Stan Lane go, You know what? I think the smoking guns personify the new generation. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> Made. I know you like him, Steve. He's so bad at his job. He's so bad. Yep. Uh, what do you think, Luke? Perfectly serviceable match between two perfectly serviceable tag teams. I am done with the heavenly bodies now. I've seen them too much. You've seen too much of J- Del Rey? I think so. I did enjoy, well, certainly Jimmy Del Rey in the last few pay-per-views, but uh, I'm You're done. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, thanks, you thank you. Thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> Please plus, leave. Plus there's like the replacement Heavenly Bodies, like the team is called Well Done. Oh. Timothy Well, Stephen Dunn. It's genius. <laughs> I genius. love how you They're, remember this. They are the, they <laughs> no, are the no, next Heavenly Bodies, so lads, you can move along. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a uh, very WWF versus territory mentality here. Like the WWF guys smoking guns that ripped can't wrestle. Territory guys, heavenly bodies can wrestle, but they're wildly cretinous. <laughs> wildly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, recap of the Bob Backlund Bret Hart build, which we'll get to on the pay per view itself. Of note, pre 2008 WWF, it's in 4 to 3 full screen aspect ratio, which means that the picture is quite cramped in general. And this one had massive, like, overlay of Sunday Night Slam on it. So it was like, you can only see like 70% of the screen. So it just looked fucking horrible. But besides that, I thought it was a great build. They did a whopper job putting over Bob Ackland. Absolutely incredible job. They took someone who wasn't over and made him an actual threat with the most terrifying move in the business and got me hyped. More of him at the Survivor Series. I'm not just going to be fighting for the World Wrestling Federation Championship belt. I'm fighting for the new generation. All kinds of action still to come here on Sunday Night Slam. You'll see the former World Wrestling Federation Champion Yokozuna and then the British Bulldog Davey Boy Smith squares off against his brother-in-law, Owen Hart. Next up, match number two is Yokozuna versus John Crystal. You ever wonder why WWF tout Yoko is in action rather than Yoko versus an opponent? This is why. How do you mean? Like, it's like, oh, Yoko is going to wrestle tonight versus, okay, it's Yoko versus John Crystal. Because if you tell someone it's Yoko versus John Crystal, yep. they won't watch it. Yep. Yeah. Former WWF champion Yokozuna, who's big as a house right now. Gorilla mentions Yoko is big as a house right now. Fucking hell. Like, he doesn't say, oh, you're bulking for strength or anything. No. They bury him as he makes his entrance. Like, the two of them literally just talk about how fat he is. And that, on top of the build on Raw, where he's petrified of caskets and even the word casket and the lights going off and Taker's dong. (laughs) (laughs) To be fair, I'm terrified of that too. (laughs) Taker's gong. (laughs) Um... Yeah, WWE did a fucking number on who only one year ago was their top heel. Mm. What's he oh, going to do? Oh. He's going to do if I decide to go down. And- oh, look at that. So 10 other. The unearthly one is back. Whoa, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Good night. This Tremendous impact. This going to do it. Quick payday for John Crystal in 106. The dude actually gets spared a bonsai drop. So, yeah. 
Nice. Because we know Yoko is a cunt to the jobbers, so. Mm-hmm. Specifically Dan Duell. He's uh, not known, but he's best known for Yoko squishing the shit out. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. But he got away. On the rope and down. Oh, no. Split. Unbelievable. Survivor Series report. Mulleted Todd spits out some quips. <laughs> Yoko is the heavy favourite. <laughs> During this ad... They say, Survivor Series, coming from the director of SummerSlam. And they what? Have, and in the credits, they actually show, okay, yeah, directed by Kerwin Selfries. Yeah. And executive producer Kevin Dunn. Kevin Dunn. Oh, what the fuck? That's like, crazy. What are they, like, is this when Vince got it in his head, like, God damn it, I need that Emmy. <laughs> and like 26 years later, he's, he, he's just like, God damn it. I need a Emmy. <laughs> Marine 7. <laughs> Match number three is our main event. It's so it's time for <laughs> Sunday Night Slam main event, which is the British Bulldog versus Owen Hart. Holy shit. It's actually a match. Bully day to you, sir. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew. Did you like the pew, pew, pews? <laughs> I do now. The laser sounds incredible that they piped in. Mm. Like oh, oh, yeah, it's flicey. Rocket, Rock Lars, the British Bulldog, bounces his way down to the ring. But- the Bulldog, he's got pew pew, so that's why the guns don't have their cap cons anymore. They just go pew 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 pew. Uh, as we check out Owen's King of Hearts deck of cards silhouette, Matt logo, Owen sneakily undoes a top turnbuckle. Ooh, what do you think of Davy's booty tassels? Perfect in the new gen? No, never. not for me personally. Oh. Ever. Don't like them at all. They make him look kid-friendly-ish. I don't know. There's something cartoony about it. So no, not for me. I wow. would rather him in the in the jeans, jeans and the puffy socks. <laughs> and the white, white socks. Yeah. I think you're right. Bulldog looks like a wrestler who should be wrestling 10 years earlier. Mm. Like he, yeah. He's jacked and he looks great. But his gear, it's very... Butlins. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mosney. At least he doesn't have the 1991 braids anymore. And, yeah. You know. Yeah. He went to on holiday to Spain. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. <laughs> didn't want to take them out. Yeah. That's it. He's like, yeah, <laughs> god damn it, I spent six pounds yeah. on this. I'm going to get as long as I can out of it. <laughs> and now Larry, the top. 360 and out of there. Suplex Bulldog to the outside? No chance, mate. Owen's going back in. The commentators dismiss the match and just hock the main event. Chatting about Backland and Brett, but interestingly, Bulldog does have a chicken wing applied. Hmm. Maybe they're right to do so. It's not a proper bout. Lots of arm bars, headlocks, reverse chin lock. Uh, big sunset flip? Denied! Ghetto Blaster and Bully takes a Rikishi level massive forward flip. No, he didn't get him. I thought he had him there. Oh my goodness! Finish out the match. Owen finishes removing the top turnbuckle. He who sets it up must take it. Bully catapults Owen into the corner, but Hart still kicks out. Owen takes back control with a bulldog to bulldog. <laughs> Owen appears to have twisted his knee. <laughs> out of nowhere, Bob Backland runs in and applies the crosswaves chicken wing to bulldog, handing him the DQ win. It's me! Brett tears Backlund loose. God, like Backlund in his plain shirt, plain haircut. When Brett goes fisticuffs with him, I can't tell him apart from the referees. Mm. You know? Except for maybe when Brett tries to pull his shirt off and he goes full Mr. T and <gasps> he can't get the shirt past his like wrists. Uh. And so he has to do the rest of his spots while uh, being held <laughs> in the confines of his shirt <laughs> i really wish he was wearing like jimmy jams here or he had some like, like nightcap <laughs> just to make it better man he's about to face brett for the world title mr t in a nightcap <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah death in wrestling here uh, the baby faces celebrate in ring to see us out three days left for you to become part of the new generation get up right now call your local cable company before it's too late decent match very decent uh, very decent uh, you would hope so from these two um yeah not a lot else to say to be honest <laughs> <laughs> thank you OC. yeah it's like it was Technically of a higher quality than the average match you'd get on Raw in 94, but that's not really saying much. They did, yeah. they did pretty much nothing, but 
they're both still very talented, you know? So well done on being talented. Like. So so well done on having a talented baseline, but the match itself. Yeah. Mm. So you go to the back and it's like, oh, how was our match? And it's like, well done on being talented. <laughs> <laughs> but at least it did have an angle to build up to main events on pay-per-view. So from that point of view, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. So on Night Slam, how was that? What do you mean? Mm. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he's waving me away <laughs> easy watch because it was so short better than the average raw but it wasn't a good show yeah it did get a 2.1 which is the lowest audience for a wwf pre-show on usa um yeah 43 minutes it flew by but it was fucking useless yeah <laughs> welcome about soon i'm stan lansane see you at survivor series Check out that little Brett the Hitman Hart fan there. Just had the Hitman sunglasses put on and look at the smile on his face. I love it. Oh, so next up we've got a Brucey bonus matchup. Yeah, a lumberjack match for the WWF title. It's Brett Hart, the WWF champion versus Owen Hart. 17th of August 1994 from Portland, Maine, shot at a Superstars taping for the Wham Bam Body Slam Coliseum Home Video and also as a DVD extra on Owen Hart's Heart of Gold documentary, which you're seeing here in glorious Grapple Vision. Why are we doing this? Whenever they have clips of Owen Hart, there's one of them with him with the belt saying, oh, I'm taking it home. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Because he never won the belt. Or did he? <laughs> Let's find out. That youngster will remember that for the rest of his or her life, whichever. What was that, a girl or boy, son? I, I think that was a little boy, you know, oh, okay. these uh, new generation haircuts here. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Coming there tonight are Gorilla Monsoon and Stan Lane. Oh, Stan Lane, he was so bad again. Wow, well, they phone it in. They, it opens with, uh, oh, they gave that uh, boy uh, the Brett Shades, or is it a girl? Boy or girl? Who? Which, what, what sex do you think that child was? <laughs> to which You're Lane... You're on tape, lads. <laughs> to which Lane answers, well, with these new generation of haircuts... It's hard to tell. Ooh. Like, on Twitter 2020, he's done. That's quite tough going, yeah. He's done. Yeah, yeah. And that's not the only thing he said. Like, he opens up this show going, Brett has held the tag titles twice, the Intercontinental title twice, and the world title twice. What more could he ask for? I was like, fuck off. (laughs) He didn't ask for them. In kayfabe, he earned them by (laughs) winning matches. (laughs) It really pissed me off. Like, that's bad commentating. Mm. Who uh, could ask for more? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking... Jeez, he makes one comment. Like. <laughs> Knob. <laughs> the wrestlers let Rosie know the Lumberjack rules as Owen rolls out and he's tossed back in. Then Owen kicks Brett out and the Lumberjacks chuck him back. Look out for Quang. Gorilla notes Quang chatting to Anvil. It's like, oh, what are they talking about? Kayfabe me, how is Anvil talking to Quang? Nobody has said Quang doesn't speak English, though, right? He's a proper Englishman. <laughs> Just because he's from Japan does not mean he cannot no, speak he's English. He's from Parson, no. So was Ultimate Warrior, and he spoke English. Mm. Therefore, give him the benefit oh, of the doubt. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Drop down by Owen. Here comes Brett. Oh, look. He was just tripped by Double J. Jarrett grabs Brett's foot. Owen tries to capitalize on a distraction, but Brett knows him too well and holds the ropes. Brett slaps on the sharpshooter. Big hullabaloo. Anvil sneaks in. Pearl harbors Brett. Owen hooks the leg. And one, two, three. Uh-oh. One, two, three. No, 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 no. No way. This is totally unfair. And new. Oh, no. What a travesty of justice, Gorilla Monsoon. This Oh. Can you believe this? This is disgusting. I can't believe this. Owen Hart wins the WWF title in under three minutes. I was so annoyed. What the fuck? (laughs) He got knocked out by one punch. (laughs) From Anvil. From Anvil. It wasn't even a punch. It was a forearm. Yeah. Laid him out for five minutes. Which is the softest part of the arm. It is. (laughs) It is. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, it's cool that you have the like pop of Owen getting it and then taking it away and the fans rally behind Brett, but I'm like, to think that Owen could be beaten in less than three minutes and your world champ. No, like, like oh, yeah. Brett had Owen 
and we're meant to think that Owen is done after three minutes and then Anvil knocks Brett out and then he loses. Oof, man. Yes, the refs and officials swarm the ring. Gorilla slags Pat Patterson for getting fat. Check out the derby on Patterson. <laughs> Jeez, a goddamn mustard tiger. You're looking at my gut. <laughs> it's fucking great. You see how big Patterson got? Oh, Boy, did he let himself go. What a derby on Patterson. You're looking at my gut? The referee reverses the decision and restarts the match. Monsoon rightly complains that if the decision was reversed, that Brett would simply win. That's just being a dickhead, yeah. though. He is right. Yeah, like, yes. technically he's right. Like, he didn't reverse the decision. He just had the match continue, yeah. yeah. But it happens mm. regularly enough mm. that, that matches are restarted. Yeah. But, like, what was interesting here is that somebody comes out from the back and says, no, 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 no such and such, restart the match. Here he's, it's like VAR. He's watching, <laughs> he can see clearly what happened on the Titan Tron. You can't restart the match. If you're watching what happened, you have to disqualify Owen. Match over. So well, is there a disqualification in a lumberjack match? Yeah, mm, good point. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, there wouldn't be. Hmm. Yeah. The depth of conversation you can have about wrestling. Mm. It's more than this match. This <laughs> it, it, it really is. Since when is this a replay used in the WWF? So we're back in the match. Phew. Cool touch. The archway is lit in pink. I was thinking maybe is that because it's heart versus heart? Mm. Oh, do you like well done and their purple G-string tights? Yeah. Yeah. They're the new heavenly bodies. Lads. Oh, yeah. Just get right in there. Yep. Right up. <laughs> <laughs> Big splash by Brett. Can't get it done. Owen throws Brett out again. Lumberjacks converge. Big schmoz? No, very well behaved. Anvil uh, just has a big chat with Brett. Owen gets a ghetto blaster in and incredulous pin with one arm already up in celebration. Yeah. Did you see how he held that left arm up in the air? That may have cost him the title. Fantastic. Stanley has an absolute whopper here. They've been going 15 minutes. We've restarted five minutes. <laughs> Seven total. Uh, the Rocket King with a super safe tombstone tries to follow up with a huge splash from the top rope, but no! Time for the finish. Owen does Brett's stern and first turnbuckle spot. Gorgeous. Brett's Russian leg sweep. Brett's backbreaker. Brett's rope pinpoint elbow. And that's Anvil's cue to get on the apron. Gets an inadverted knee by Owen, leaving him prone to get schoolboy by Brett. One, two, three, and Bret Hart retains the WWF Championship. Get out! Brett move! Anvil just got nailed. Look at that. Oh, look One, at look two, three. He, oh, got, he, got, him. he got, him. got him that time. Yes, he did. I enjoyed it. Thought it was a good match. I was a little bit annoyed that Brett didn't really acknowledge a hard-fought victory at the end. He just could, yeah, I'm done now, and off he goes. He's like a Coliseum home video. You've got your money's worth. You got your blood. <laughs> yeah. Was um, this the last TV match of their world title? It was right before their SummerSlam match. Okay, so that, uh, fair enough. It's because I was thinking if this is your last match of a long feud, you would be more, ah, it's done. But he was just very much nonchalant about it. Like, yeah, of course I won. Lumberjack matches. I don't understand why the heels would get involved to beat up the baby face. Why would they care? Or oh, if another heel wins the belt. Yeah. Baby face rolls out. Heels start beating him up, throwing back in. Why? They're supposed to be out for themselves. Hmm. You know, unless they're just that dastardly that they just hate anything good, which I don't then think is Then how would they even for. get out to the ring before beating each other up? Yeah, excellent point. <laughs> 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 and last point I was really annoyed not to see Owen properly with the belt on him I always like to see wrestlers who I've never seen with the belt on Lex being a great example that you've you've spliced before in spoilers in the Survivor series Owen here was just kept getting blocked by other people I was like no no move out of the way I just want to see what he looks like just this one time with the world title that was a shame but overall yeah I enjoyed this I got some b-roll splicey of him with the world title yeah please mm. thank you yeah Nice. <laughs> uh, what do you think, V1? It was fine. Better than the average Lumberjack match. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of them. It tends to be, we're going to throw you out, and then we throw you back in. Then the other guy gets thrown out. He gets thrown back in. And it eventually builds up to the spot where the heels batter the face. Mm. But they didn't do too much of that. So we thought, while Owen and Brett were wrestling, it's always going to be very good. The rest of the stuff was meh. So overall, yeah, it was fine. 
Oh, okay. Uh, that's I think that's more positive than my hand. Yeah, immediate match was just busy work back and forth. The two kind of slept through it, which is fair enough. It's for a compilation tape only match. <laughs> so you're not missing out, but it's cool to see where the footage of Owen celebrating with the world title came from. But as you said, Luke, there's no good shots of him with the belt. It's just hullabaloo, wide shot. Look at everyone in the ring going, oh, what's going on? I told you, look at the big screen. Yeah. So, eh, get fucked. I mean, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Eh. <laughs> it's so tough shit you've watched it <laughs> I mean eh. yeah. yeah get fucked actually yeah <laughs> but there was no one for you to go Brett you were scared you were shaken Next up, The Raw Before Survivor Series 1994. It's the 21st of November. Much like the Sunday Night Slam taped two weeks ago at the Fernwood Resort in Bushkill, Pennsylvania. At the entrance, the Teamsters beat up Razor as we hear Vince's hoarse voice. The officials coming out trying to get control of this. They banged that ball on a Razor about the- He's green screening with Jim Cornette in an incredible mustard yellow and ketchup red attire. Cornette hot dogs about the heels and keeps calling their Pearl Harbor a full rear assault (laughs) (laughs) I beg your pardon (laughs) Uh aha first up we have Tatanka versus fuck Chris Canyon whoa we've seen so many people that would go on to be named wrestlers like so Canyon we've seen Matt Hardy pop up a lot we saw Jeff Hardy in that one match we saw Tony DeVito Tony DeVito yeah (laughs) battering your boy (laughs) (laughs) Bob on uh, Raw after Survivor Series, yeah. We also saw um, PJ Palacco have yes. a match on Raw as well. So rat face knacker, the rat face knacker indeed. Still no word as to whether or not we are going to have our feature matchup, Raise Your Own. That's what it's all about. <laughs> and a million dollar teams, a heel Tatanka versus a jobber. Yes, who better than Chris Canyon? Tatanka, obviously. Uh, he does get a springboard splash once. He bumped hard and fast and was smooth. Uh, very lean and tanned here. Man, deserved way better. Just give it a few years anyway, and he'll be stunt double to Jimmy King in WCW Ready to Rumble. Yeah. Jobber squash ends with a Samoan drop in 437. In your eyes. That was in our of two it's and three. three. Of note, Cornette drops a South Park reference, Starvin' Marvin. I tell you what, they ought to rename that guy Starvin' Marvin. He's not going to eat for a while. Because- <laughs> It's like, oh, actually, it's not. It's November 94. That episode is from three years in the future. Oh, wow. Yeah. Starvin' Marvin is also a gas station <laughs> and a song by Rafi from the album Adult Entertainment. In this big city, you'll often hear sounds of Starvin' Marvin. Which is this kind of panky waka waka, as you'd hope. Uh, straight out of Fuzzy Bunny's Guide to You Know What. <laughs> <laughs> that night came the honeymoon. She's faking it. <laughs> <laughs> Match number two is Adam Baum versus Jason Arndt. Arnd. Arnst? Arnst. For Jason Arnst. <laughs> it really matters so much. Jason Arnt. You, know how, you know how we say that in Tennessee, don't you? What's Jason that? ain't. The toxic monster gets his own job or squash. Uh, you enjoy his spoot pyro? He's like... Pfft. Unless he comes up with a good oh, strategy. Yeah. What? His head blew up. I actually do like Adam Baum's entrance. He comes out and he does his, like, the Beth Phoenix pose. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get the little green bomb fart that yeah, yeah. comes out. I kind of like that, you know? But that's where it ends, you know? <laughs> and then I have to watch him wrestle and oh. it's like, it's uh, it's very bland. Cornet says, speaking of the submission match at the Survivor Series, the Bulldog will be waving more towels than a Chinese laundry. I think the British Bulldog's going to be doing his imitation of a Chinese laundry. He's going to be waving so many towels. You're going to think he's been taking in laundry for six weeks. Is it all right? Is it pass muster? I, no, I don't no, think so. No, it doesn't. Okay. Death penalty, side slam, atomic smasher, which is a pump handle release power bomb, and the leader of the bomb squad. You like all these puns? <laughs> and he gets an easy win in 226. Mr. Cover the cannon and a bomb on a very impressive victory over Jason Arn. I actually have it written here that he seems like he's getting a bit more competent, but it's tough to tell in a match where he just does moves on someone else and he's not actually selling or doing stuff, you know? So yeah, it was fine. Okay. Cornette and McMahon playing WWF Raw on the Genesis. 
<gasps> yeah. Oh, yes. Get it. Um, like live, or are they doing the, well, where people, do, like on movies when they're just moving the button or yeah, pressing yeah, the buttons pretend, randomly. There's no way Cornette can use a Genesis controller. Uh, yeah, Pixel Yoko, no cells, but Taker sends him 20 meters all the way to the outside. <laughs> it's like, this game is not, it's not video game verite. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's just putting him over, you know, bumping like a boss. Oh my God. <laughs> You're cheating. I'm not cheating. Time is getting short. It's the king. Eh? <laughs> it's the king's court. Eh? 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 With Jerry Lawler and his three minis and his book of short jokes. Uh, don't let it get you down, fellas. <sighs> Clowns or us have multiple shortcomings. They, <sighs> they don't measure up. Uh, yeah, you take it away. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking so, uh, seriously, right? Okay. So this card has five matches on it, right? Featuring Taker versus Yoko, Brett versus Backland. Okay, two big matches. One is for the world title. Which match got the most build? This. So pink, wink, and pink. So it begins. By the way, that's a joke that they completely missed out yeah, on. They yeah. should have called it them pink great. and stink. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Come it might on! Have been funny, you can't have. There's no place for comedy. <laughs> it writes itself, doesn't it? Pink it and stink. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is obvious. There, come on! This, this is like the lowest hanging fruit. <laughs> I wasn't afraid to grab it. <laughs> it's good, Steve. It's good. Um, so this build kicks off on the post SummerSlam Raw. So yes, I watched every Raw between SummerSlam and Survivor Series 12 fucking weeks, right? Oh my God. It begins with something which got over on our last show. It was the hot bin angle. Hot Wonderful. Bin. Where Lawler kicks the bin and there's a <laughs> there's a weight in it and he sells a toe. Yeah. Then the following week, uh, Lawler has a match with Duke the Dumpster Drossy in which there's a bin on the outside. <laughs> The hot bin Te- again. Temperature unknown. Yeah. Uh, Lawler goes over to kick the bin again. <laughs> Dink pops out and he has a super soaker and squirts him. Then the following week on Superstars, Lawler is doing commentary. He gets up and he's shouting at Doink. Dink comes up behind him and puts a cream pie on his chair. He sits down. He sells his butthole. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so How do you sell a butthole? <laughs> uh, like jump up and grab and go... <laughs> Yeah. What was something in the pie? Um, cream. <laughs> <laughs> so this makes Lawler so mad that he can do the only thing that he can do. He introduces the equalizer, his own dwarf, Queasy, who immediately forgets his lines uh, and King has to tell him his lines and the segment is horrific. So we go on uh, every week. Doink brings out a new midget. King brings out a new midget and it all builds up to the clowns rob his crown and when they give it back to him one of the jewels is missing oh that's okay I thought they'd shit in it (laughs) no that's Randy Orton Um, a lot of wrestlers from Memphis they got their back like Skinner shit in his uh, and X-Pac just because he's a knacker you know in Lawler's in Lawler's hat yeah yeah why? Why did? did ha ha! Isn't that a? That's a funny rib. Oh, oh it's uh, just a rib. Funny rib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not abuse or anything. There you go. And so after the crown jewel gimmick, uh, he's so angry <laughs> that he has them on the king's court on the go home raw. Jerry Lawler, he's in the ring. He had uh, sleazy, queasy, and cheesy, and he's talking about how how they're going to beat clowns or us. Every time they turn their back, one of the clowns will pop up with a super soaker and. <laughs> give him a squirt and then he'll turn around and berate his midgets and then when he turns around to them someone else pops up and it happens like three or four times I was pulling my hair out (laughs) it was awful it doesn't help the build it doesn't make me want to see the match it couldn't end soon enough but it didn't (laughs) it kept going Steve Uh, Iris Tales from the that was horrific (laughs) Oh my god, it was so bad. Uh, Where's the hot bin? Yeah, the hot bin <laughs> was over. At least there's some good came of the last few. Uh, yeah. If this drive-by silly stringing by Dink is any indication, the war of words and pranks will continue right up to and through this Wednesday night at the WWF Survivor Series. I knew that my instincts were correct when I accused the recently departed so-called poor soul of cheating on his taxes. 
IRS with Tales from the Crypt. He's been conducting investigations around the funeral home. One unlucky son didn't pay back taxes, so he's repossessing his grave plot. Another tried to list his daughter's birthday dinner as a business expense and he penalised them. It's like, he is right, you know. <laughs> you can't do that shit. <laughs> It's not the actions of a heel, it's the actions of a righteous government worker. It's, it's a man who's doing his job as he's told. And it's like, you can't, that is not a business did, expense. Did, Te- technically, the repo man wasn't wrong then mm. either, was he? He wasn't. Yeah. He's performing servants. You pay your fucking... <laughs> 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 yeah, I just heard you. <laughs> Don't get things on a higher purchase if you can't afford it. <laughs> Everyone must pay their taxes. Otherwise, you may be left... With an empty feeling. <laughs> so we got IRS versus the very first version. Matt Hardy. Yeah. Can you give me a wonderful, Steve? Oh, broken Matt Hardy. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. That was That's a bit Uncle Leo, yeah, but yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wonderful. Outside, DBRC literally slaps Matt with a wa- his wad of money. He's <laughs> so fucking great. <laughs> Hello, Hello. No good. But Matt doesn't get the three. Throw to the turnbuckle. Big IRS clothesline. The right off. And Shin Shin. That's that in 252. Uh, rope around his neck and he'll float straight down the street. And there's IRS who is floating to another victory. I love this guy. Uh, it was a match that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Our buddy Todd runs down the card as the last hard sell before... His big heart cell during the countdown. <laughs> Yokozuna doesn't like the special troubleshooting referee, Texas tough guy, Chuck Norris. They try to bury his butt. We are witnessing the demise of the Undertaker. He hawks a special troubleshooting enforcer, Chuck Norris. That's kicks. Uh, well, I thought troubleshooting enforcer, because, you know, just in case your printer's jammed or something. <laughs> Prophetically, Todd says, imagine the million dollar team going down to ringside to confront Chuck Norris, <laughs> which is just what happens. It's like, cool. And then nothing happens. Yes. When you face the reaper. From the director of WrestleMania 10 and SummerSlam comes the WWF Survivor Series. Just watching this, like, holy shit, there is nothing on the line in Survivor Series. This is quite an inconsequential pay-per-view, except for the world title match, obviously. And it's time for your Raw Before Survivor Series main event. Ooh, we did get... I wasn't expecting one. It's Razor Ramon versus Diesel. The Bad Mang versus the Truck Mang with Lost the Smile Mang. You can bet Razor is looking on right now, and he's just not looking at his seven-foot opponent, Diesel. He's looking at all of the members of the Teamsters. Oh, yes! Sean, international fashionista here in a mismatched Canadian tuxedo and gorgeous fluffy Kentucky waterfall there. So he's got like a jean jacket and like these dark blue jean shorts and then his big mullet. Good stuff. Handsome fella. Oh, shirtless, obviously. A beige cowboy boots. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he never gave a fuck, did he? <laughs> it's great. HBK grabs Razor's mullet, leaving him prone for diesel. I know that heels are mates more than babyface are mates, but it is 94, but it's so weird to see Owen applaud Sean's heelish actions. Like that heart is on the same side as Sean. It's not weird. Yeah, it, it is weird given what went on to happen. It doesn't look like they would ever be mates. Just the type of person Owen is. Uh, his character and Sean's character, you know. Jack Knapp and this will do it for sure. No one escaped. Wait a oh. minute, back money drop. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Get Jared in, rocket on into Diesel. Ding, 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 big schmoz. And it's a no contest there. Nobody jobs. It's all a waste of time after 11 minutes. Everyone hammering away. Shawn Michaels quickly to the outside. He's staying out of the frame. Uh, so then that's it. That's raw. <laughs> that's it. That is your go home angle. Kind of weird that they didn't have any build for the world title match. Well, where was that? Yeah. They did have the. the no, that was Sunday Night Slam. Yeah, what that was Sunday Night Slam. Nothing. Yeah. They, they had the big angle last week where during the King's Court, um, Brett and Backland had a head to head, and Backland got the chicken wing on Brett for like three seconds, let it go, grabs a mic and goes. I got the chicken wing on you. If I get on Sunday, that's it. You're done. And then Brett takes him down and gets the sharpshooter. A few seconds, lets it go. I got the sharpshooter on you. (laughs) Sunday. (laughs) 
<laughs> and that was the final build. It sounded more you, energy than It that. was much better than the way I said it. <laughs> it was fantastic, actually. That's all I'm like, blah, blah, blah. Someday. <laughs> Someday. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, Wednesday. <laughs> We're out of time. We'll see you this Wednesday night at the Survivors. And for our OSW Mountain Dew KFC Gold Honey Mustard Gotta Be Gotta Be Domino's Made of Edge, we have the pay-per-view countdown itself. Steve, what happens, mate? Oh, my God. Uh, show opens up with Todd. Uh, Tex. Tex Pettingale earning his money as he climbs up a horse, then and sells, the horse. getting caught on the top of the gate as he comes out because he's a pro. Here we go! <laughs> but then it shows him cantering the horse down to ringside and he can clearly ride a horse. So he sold it really, really well. Awesome job, Tex. Awesome job, you, Elmer. What do you mean he sold it? Sell, he sold riding a horse. He's, he... <laughs> <laughs> why, why does everything have to be wrestling? <laughs> he sold not being able to ride a horse oh, in the opening okay. and then it go, goes on the next scene uh, and yeah. he's like... <laughs> and he's fucking grand on it, you know? <laughs> he's got the coconuts. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, 2704. We get young Miz's dad in the crowd. Splicey. All right, what do you got? Todd does his first hard sell of the night, then throws to a five-minute video package. <laughs> a five-minute hard sell. A five, <laughs> so he does a hard sell to throw to a five-minute harder sell <laughs> of the Brett and Backland build, which, by the way, the video is fucking excellent. Bob Backlund, once renowned for his sportsmanship, snapped. He lost it. The match was over, but not in Backlund's suddenly twisted mind. More of him at the Survivor Series. Todd is in the foyer and there's one thing that I hate seeing. There's like loads of little kids cheering and like, hey, and the security guard's dickhead. He's like pushing them back, blocking their faces with his arm, like being a bit of a cunt here, you know? Todd talks to the uh, uh, guard and he's like, hey, so what do you think of uh, Brett versus Bob Backlund? And your man's like, uh, uh. He, he, he wants- I'm here for Clowns or Us. <laughs> He wants fucking none of it. <laughs> this is a big night for the Hart family. Am I right, sir? Yes, sir. This is a big night because you know what, folks? We don't do pay-per-views all the time, but when we do, they're special. We don't do pay-per-views very often, but when we do, they're special. You know? I miss those days. Yeah, for a year. Oh, yeah. oh five imagine? year yeah. dream. Can you imagine how fucking great, yeah. great it would be to not have one every four fucking weeks? Yeah. yeah. Oof. Fast forward 10 years, 2004. They're doing 14 pay-per-views a year. <sighs> yeah. Raw and Smackdown, separate pay-per-views. John Heidenreich. <laughs> Finley main event. <laughs> I'll, I'll, man. I'll hear none of the Finley <laughs> main what? event Lashers, shenanigans. Oh, that was 2007. Seven was Lashers, eight. Finley. Oh, my God. Every main event. Bit of Cali in the there. The good old days. Yeah. You think you're special. More clips of Chuck Norris and he's shown arriving in a huge white limo because he's so down to earth. <laughs> <laughs> and it ends with uh, Jared saying that he's going to come down and he's going to be the one to take out Walker, Texas Ranger. Because Jared's great. Quang, Quang makes his entrance. We get to see, I believe, 1.6 seconds <laughs> of footage before they cut the camera away and back to Todd with another hard sell. Uh, we do get to see a couple of seconds of the match in the background. Yeah, the Quangster and Harvey Whippleman versus Sparky Plug. Yeah. Mm. So the camera comes back to Todd and he begins to run down the card. But mid-sentence, he's interrupted by yet another video package. This one building up uh, the match of the Teamsters versus Guts or Glory. <laughs> We can only have one. We can only afford one. They're mutually exclusive. <laughs> Todd collars the Q card girl for some reason. Ooh, Sue. She looks like a Sue. She looks like a deer in the headlights. And he basically gets uh, her to show the card and he goes, this is what I don't ever get to read because I'm too excited. Yeah, intro, self, event and clock mention pay-per-view Survivor Series rules. I was like, mm. oh, I just want to have it here. You can have a look at what she had on the Q card. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, very nice. So then he throws to yet another video package. This one building up the clowns versus the royal family. It's the identical one two we got on the go home raw it's the you being framed kind of cheesy me 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 isn't this fucking hilarious yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the, the music <laughs> is really bad 
Doink and Dink presented the king with a royal tribute. The gift that just kept hurting. Todd is doing another hard sale and they do the interruption bit that they do every show. This time it's Raymond Rougeau. Ray. Check who's next to me, it's the Teamsters. Let me try and get a word with them. Yeah. He's with the Teamsters, he asks them a question and they just go, mm, and they blow him off. <laughs> talk right now so I guess it's back to you they're ready for action these guys are ready to come out of that tunnel thank you Ray can you see by the dawn's early light only on the live version we get the Marshall Corman band out to sing the national anthem quite like them two dudes dual singing no hot dogging very like more like words fellas in extreme oh extreme yeah Ooh. think you'd like it then Todd goes to the Spanish and Ends team and he's like maso queso he's like ah oh, that's what I had for dinner <laughs> <laughs> uh, good and then he goes over to Vincent Gorilla uh, Vince has a Jay Hunter special waistcoat looking very, very dapper. Gives Todd guff. He goes, oh, Todd, I see you're wearing an earring there. It's not very uh, cowboyish. And he goes, well, I'm the midnight cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> and he pops Vince live on TV. Vince loses his shit. It's fucking great. Um, and then Todd then jokes again. He's like, well, Vince, you know, like if you keep on having a bad show like this, we have the <laughs> Spanish lads who were here to take over for you. And he pops Vince. And- <laughs> it's fucking great. Is it real though? Or is Vince just being his usual goof? I, no, I kind of thought that he popped Vince. It is, because he didn't laugh and then he got it. He's like, fucking, that was funny. Uh, yeah, so he got him twice. Cool. The show. Yeah. Well done, mate. They'll be ready to replace you just in case. Oh, thanks. No problem. <laughs> just under two minutes. So then Todd uh, he does his final sale. He hypes up the crowd. He gets, you know, the different sections to, like, cheer. And then he throws to one final promo package and we're out. From San Antonio and the World Wrestling Federation, I'll see ya! Deep in the heart of Texas comes the Survivor Series. That was your countdown show for Survivor Series <laughs> 1994, the worst one yet. <laughs> but uh, Todd's great. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so, pff, fuck it. That was, I, to be fair, like it was the first time I'd seen the Backland promo package, and that was great. It's so really it good. really raised up... <laughs> The countdown show, but on its own merits. Holy shit. Yeah, for, for holy shit. For me, I, I think it was the third time that I'd seen that package. So by the time really? I saw it on here, I was like, I was done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that does it for the oh, so obviously how did that sound? Yeah. You just oh, can't wait for the Survivor series. Oh, oh. I like Alright, are we done? <laughs> 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 and that does it for the OSW man do gold honey monster barbecue gotta be gotta be Domino's free show and so you can see us next Sunday for uh, the Survivor Series 94 thanks to our initial video editors Jeffrey Cerberus Chris Fox Chris Niles Chris Nyes Christopher Nyes and Kieran cheers guys too many Chris's I know I know you have to sack some of them yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> All of our future Patreon content is free until the world's good again. Go to youtube.oswreview.com. You can see all of our stuff. That's where our video playlist is. Uh, ooh, like Bill and Ted's Bogus Journeys. Awesome. You're going to love it. Biddle-oo, biddle-oo, biddle biddle <laughs> <laughs> So see you next Sunday for the WWF 1994 Survivor Series. So it's a goodbye from V1. Take a fucking boo. I know it's he. They do. And myself, Jay Hunter. And remember, a winner is you. Ha 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 